Don't get angry, but I want to show you my steak for the vlog. Are you f***ing kidding me? <laughs> 20 euros. Swear. People, happy weekend. Wish everyone a happy weekend, Shar. Sure. Happy weekend. It's Saturday. We're gonna go and check out this market. I've never really seen this market that good before. Are you excited to check this market out? Yeah! A very beautiful aroma. I thought it was bacon rolls, but Char tells me that it's uh, chicken. 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 Oh yeah, get a little bit. So we just got back from the market, didn't film too much whilst I was there. Archie's learning to crawl. June to get out of the way. Mm. We got lots of nice things from the butcher, feta, nice big thick block of feta for Mrs. Magoo over here. This is something really cool and this is sugar covered nuts. Charlotte's going to do a taste test for you guys right now. Oh, he's on the phone for you. Come and get it then. You can't swim like a frog. You have to use your legs properly. Hello people, it's Sunday morning. When you're in a relationship, it's all about the little things, the little details, the little surprises that keep things interesting. Oh, wow! Look. Wow! Oh my goodness, Arch. Doesn't that look beautiful? Sure. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> like, Perfect timing. Baby. Yum yum yum. Parent life. Two double espressos and a Sunday. And we're discussing our second baby. Charlotte's not slept in eight days. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> what do you guys think? How long do you think we should have another baby? Leave a comment down below if you think we should have another baby right now. <laughs> Not right now. You've already drank from that other one. Cheers. Wait, babe, you're breastfeeding. Charlotte's auntie brought over a goodie bag. Auntie of her always makes really nice things. Oh wow, lovely. Homemade bread from Mary Lou, let's give it a go. Mm. What are you into now? Oh, a lemon. Bite. Are you enjoying that lemon? You're just like your mum. You like sour things. 
<laughs> you like it though. It's funny how this is like. Yeah. He, he he has that reaction, but he still wants it. That's really like you then. Yeah. Also, what I've always had when I. <laughs> Was he smiling or no? No, he was like looking shocked. Oh. No, he's here, don't worry. He's still for your passport. Oh, for your passport! Could you, could you, could you? Come here. Oh! Alright, who is that? Look! Yeah! Super! Thank you! No, thank you! We're in Maastricht. It's another beautiful day. Sailor went to see, see, see. So we're at the fish market, we're having some kibbling, and Archie's loving it. Like a true Scot slash Dutchman. <laughs> Is that nice boy? Is that good? Is that for your dinner boy? Hmm? Each new bike, don't fall over. Silence. We've not done an unboxing in a very long time, so Charlotte's been up to her usual mischief, ordering stuff. No, that's not true. Don't say that because that, that, that's not true. No, we needed some stuff for Archie. Because he has a so hole in his pajamas. We got him a new sister. <laughs> okay, let's have a look what's inside. Oh, it's not that exciting. Pajamas. Wool. Bleh. Pajamas. Take it out because I think it's like really big. Really? That's, you know that this is his next size. Is it? Huh? <gasps> oh, <my> God. <laughs> Almost fits me. <laughs> that won't fit him though, right? No, that won't fit him. He's old enough to run, run around to the park if he's this big. <laughs> mom! Mom! <laughs> he goes inside this? Yeah. Eh? So this is like for when you wanna... Sure. Yeah. It is. Are you being serious? Yeah. He'll fall through out of that. No, he won't. Oh, okay. See? So it's like that, that yeah. or, or this, I guess. Cool. But RT Well, we'll try it out later on. Yeah? It's crazy that this is 50 euros. You're joking. No, I'm not joking. 51, actually. What, the sling or the whole order? No, the sling. I actually have heard of the brand Tonga though. Yeah, it's a good brand. It's an Australian brand. But like not for slings. It's like Paris. Oh, maybe it's not Australian. <laughs> no, it's Australian. I know it's Australian. So this is the new Tonga, but we need to test it out for at least really got it for the airport. So we're going to be late for our flight, Arch. Oh my gosh, we're going to be late. Run. Run, we're going to be late for our flight. We're going to be late for our flight. Run. Run. Monster boy got a little present. Because he's being so good. What did he get, babes? Little bathrobe, the cutest thing ever. Little bathrobe with bunny ears. Do you want to hold your own bag, boy? Do you want to hold your own bag? No. <laughs> Daddy and Archie is sitting in the back. Tickle, 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 tickle. Dada. Can you say Dada? <laughs> Oh. 
Is that your new commando mode? <laughs> Got them! Yay! Well done! Bought Archie his first dressing gown and it's the moment of truth. Arch, you're almost a toddler. Well. <laughs> oh, look. oh, look at you! Yeah, your dressing gown, it's a little bit big. Oh. <laughs> He's already aggressively taking it off. Here. Oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> Do you not like the ears? Okay guys, we've made Archie a new play area. So if you maybe remember, his box used to go there. But now he's got a little gymnastics area. So he can tumble around and not have to worry about bashing his heat. So dad's just heading to work, but I want to see your reaction in your new play tent. <laughs> Can you take him? Mm -hmm. Whoa, you're in your tongue. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> Hey man, that looks so fun! We're not posting on Sundays anymore and we're also not posting every week anymore. So, just a little update on the new posting schedule. We're gonna post every two weeks on a Thursday. I'm, I'm hitting my capacity every week of what I can handle workload-wise and I need to focus on Boozy and Ocean Punks. It's, it's taking up a lot of my time. I'm working till really late and what I was finding is having the vlog in the back of my mind for every week was just, it was draining me and it was giving me loads of anxiety thinking of posting videos every week. So I've just cut that commitment and it's like such a massive weight off my shoulders. It seems stupid because we're only really doing the vlogs for our family. Um, I think that's why, you know, it's not like it's not like we're doing the, the vlogs to make money or something. So one of the things that I kind of realized whilst I made the decision to take this step back from posting every week, I asked myself like, why Am I gonna, why am I still vlogging? You know, why am I doing it? And when I first started vlogging, I was doing it because I enjoyed it. You know, I, I filmed a vlog by accident once with Natalia for an event and I just loved the creative process and that's why I started doing it. It was never, I never really had any intention to do it to be a YouTuber, you know, because I've got uh, a business career that I'm fully focused on. I've been putting pressure on myself to do YouTube as as that kind of thing, you know, to grow it. and. I don't want to, I kind of got lost in that kind of, you know, thinking of videos that are gonna go, like, get lots of views and stuff, and I really don't want to do that. That's not why I'm, I'm posting vlogs. So I wrote down one reason on a piece of paper of why I would do this, and that one reason is Archie. And for me personally, like, that is enough, that's enough reason to do it. So I'm gonna continue doing it almost like I'm filming these vlogs for Archie, so when he grows up, he's gonna have hundreds and hundreds of videos to look back on his mum and dad when they first met, um, see himself growing up, and just watch our life, you know? And, you know, I think in the back burner, it's always good as an entrepreneur to, um, you know, well, this is, my, this is my opinion, it's always good to build a bit of a personal brand, and I don't really know how I'm gonna build a personal brand, but this is a start, you know? So, yeah, film the vlogs for Archie, and who knows, it may help my career in the future. And again, back to that passion of creativity that I really love, um, I'm only gonna pick up the camera when I'm feeling creative and when there's something worth filming going on. And yeah, thanks for supporting the vlogs, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah. Bye.